In this video, I'll look at creating and setting up a cat rig. I'll go to the Create tab in the Command Panel, and under the Helpers button, choose Cat Objects. I'll make a cat parent, and once I click on the button, I'll scroll down to the Cat Rig Load Save section. The idea in a cat rig is that there's a lot of things we need fairly regularly, such as allosaurs, a good bipedal dinosaur, crabs, clowns, dragons, and some basic humans. I'm going to make a horse to start out. Once I've got a rig selected, I can click and drag and make that rig. If you'd like, you can make a custom rig. But the premise is that at a studio, there's a lot of things we need fairly regularly. And we want to spend the time of our riggers in other ways, such as complex facial rigs or other custom works, not having to remake, well, a standard horse. The cat parent is the root. And right now, I'm in setup mode. What this means is that I need to customize this rig to fit to my character. And I can do this very easily by selecting the pieces and moving them, and also scaling them out to fit as needed. I'm going to make the neck links on my horse a little bit longer, scaling them out and adjusting. Now my horse is a slightly larger head. You want to get the rig fairly set, fitting the mesh of your character as well as possible, and positioned in the skin pose. Once we've got this ready, we can go to the Motion tab. And with the cat rig selected, we can see our layer manager is blank. We're ready to start adding layers in and animating. The idea in a cat rig is, very quickly, we can get the rig in, position it, and start animating, working in a layered animation system, and bypassing a lot of the reinventing the wheel we'd see with a custom rig. We can spend our custom rigging time on more expressive things, like facial rigs or custom workings. In the cat rig, We've got a lot of options here once we get into animation. Our controllers are pretty straightforward. Really, it's all under a layer trans here as part of a transform. The rig is pretty intuitive and knows how to work. As we take this body and pick it up, those legs are going to stay fixed, and it gets a fairly horse-like motion, including bending down. It's going to make it fairly easy to animate, so we should get to it and start animating. 